Kids, what I'm about to tell you is a natural fact of your life. Your phone is going to die. And just like a goldfish, you knew it was going to die when you bought it. Huh? But unlike a goldfish, you don't have to flush it down the toilet after it dies. You just have to recharge it. Here's the problem, though. You're probably doing it wrong. According to a 2014 test performed by expertreviews.com on all types of cell phones, the average cell phone battery lasts between 11 and 13 hours. That's a pretty long time, and yet, just like any good Chinese takeout, it never quite seems like enough. I still want more. The first cell phone batteries were actually your car's battery, and the phones had to stay connected at all times because they needed that much power to run. You remember the car phone? Sure! It was made popular by your friend's rich divorced uncle and every bad guy in an Eddie Murphy action comedy. Once the cell phone got out of the car, its battery needed 10 hours of juicing for 30 minutes of performance. Just like Lance Armstrong. More like Arm Week. <laughs> the Economist tells us that in 1991, Sony launched the first commercial lithium ion battery and then tweaked it and perfected it over the next decade, making the lithium ion battery thinner and perfect for mobile phones. Okay, so technology has improved, but guys, it still takes a person to charge a phone, and that's where the wrongness begins. The most common mistake people make is just plugging in their phones and hoping for the best. Guys, you can't just plug it in and hope for the best. This isn't your prom night. According to CNET.com, when your phone charges, it still emits a search signal for service and or Wi-Fi, so you're not charging as efficiently as possible. Another surprising fact is that next to your great aunt Helen, no one is more sensitive to the temperature than your phone. People often make the mistake of leaving their phones in a hot car or in the sun if they're not from Seattle. Good folks over at Scrubbly.com, a how-to blog for tech and productivity, tell us that lithium batteries can be damaged and lose lifetime to that intense heat. So don't charge our phone in the sun or any overheated confined space, like inside your great Aunt Helen's armpit. <laughs> Lastly, most people never let their phones totally discharge on their own. Scrubbly.com tells us that not allowing the battery to go through the entire cycle of charging up and down can limit its life. So how can we charge our phones correctly so that we can talk and text on them for longer and spend less time with our families? What's up first, man? First things first, to save your battery, pretend like you're on a Southwest flight to Chicago Midway Airport. You want me to fight for a seat and then have eight gin and tonics? Because no, I'll do it. No, I'll I don't, drink gin I and tonics like, like it's nobody's tomorrow. Okay, like nobody's tomorrow. Like it's my day. Did, did you have a few before today? I had a couple in the back. I'll take the middle seat and the side seat, and I'll start drinking. Okay. Then I'll get yeah. loud. I'll start answering those Southwest Airlines jokes. Okay. Here's a joke. You're a joke. What I'm saying is when you charge your phone, switch it over to airplane mode. According to CNET.com, entering airplane mode allows your phone to stop searching for service and signal, resulting in a faster charge time. Secondly, treat your phone like your drunk friend at 2 a.m. leaving the bar. Your job is to keep him cool at all times. If you recharge in a cool place, your friend and your phone won't lose any of its life. Finally, Scrubbly.com tells us to periodically, maybe once a month, allow your phone to completely discharge down to zero, then charge it back up to 100%. This cycling will actually improve your battery life. That actually also works works for your drunk friend at the bar at 2 a.m. as well. Get that dude down to zero so he won't want to drunk dial his ex just to tell her that he's doing fine without her. I'm fine without you, you dumb All right, dummy. stop it. You can't handle okay. this much, man. Get off the phone, drunkie. All right, let me Get call off it. the phone. Let me call Get it. off. Okay, so when it comes to correctly charging your phone, remember these simple things. Decrease the heat, flip it over to airplane mode, zero things out from time to time, and for God's sakes, Someone get Anne Helen an Afghan. Because like the Cleveland Browns, the draft is killing her. Well, that's going to do it for us. For Jason, I'm Randy. For Randy, I am also Jason. You're also Jason? I am Jason. Well, now you're doing it wrong, Jay. And just like you guys, just you're... like you guys, you're doing it wrong. I just did it wrong. We're all doing it wrong now. You, you don't understand. I, I, I told her I'll, I'll take you. She doesn't, she, let me call her and tell her what get she's on, missing. No, you don't. Let me it. get her on the phone. When you, you dumb dummy, you can't okay, handle uh, it. I know. Let me tell her how wrong she is. I know it hurts. Let she me does, call she her. She doesn't need to be told how wrong she is. Let me tell her. She, she doesn't need wrong. to know. Next time on You're Doing It Wrong. Humans will spend on average 23,214 hours over the course of their lives doing laundry. That's over two and a half years or nearly one fish song on a live album.